Um, I am not familiar with the Constitution of the state. I'm very familiar with the federal Constitution. I've always heard all my life that the state Constitution has too much stuff in it. It, it deals with things that other states, other countries, um, our country deals with legislatively. And I'm wondering whether, um, I'm, I'm not opposed to, I think it's nice that we have a right to a, a quality education and we can have a right to clean air and, and, and various things could be added to the Bill of Rights. You know, this is nice, this is good. But what did I write down? That, uh, like you're saying things, how is it going to affect the roads, the schools, etc.? Maybe one thing that might be considered at this Constitutional Convention is just um, making the Constitution into a framework for how we make the laws and then doing these things by law. That's a terrific observation. They would force endorsement, and that force endorsement dominated the outcome, the social outcome. Now, as hard as this is to believe, the party that cross endorsed these Republican senators was the Socialist Party. Did you know that? Uh, no, I will go around the Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's possible to know about stuff before you were born. The, 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 the point of it is that the, so, that the political alliances are shifted. Institutional arrangements shift, but basic social values last. And for example, the right to a sound basic education on the right to, of working people to protection and the right to protect the poor. Comes out of the 38 one? Socialist Republican Coalition. So I, I think we should debate the social and value-driven elements of the state constitution, and I think they should still be there. That's not going to shift. I'm worried. If you have this convention, what would be best case scenario? I mean, is there one thing you would love to see specifically changed in the budgeting for New York State or in the budgeting? No, in the budget process of getting to... I would not concentrate on the process questions, which my colleagues seem to think are the more important ones. I would like to see uh, a resolution of the, of, of the problem of fair taxation in the state. I think that a lot of the way in which we raise money is unfair essentially to working people in the middle class. And I think we ought to address that to the very difficult Shannon group. Over the last uh, number of years, we've dramatically reduced the state tax rate. It was as high as 15 or 17 percent. It's now down about 7. That has had some, I think, value, and I think that was in some ways been a very good thing. But it also threw a lot of the burden over the property tax, which I think is not a good thing. So if I were to say, what is the major issue that ought to be that a constitutional convention should confront? It is a rethinking of the way in which we raise revenue. We also have to think about the amounts we raise, whether we're spending is wise, and whether we're spending too much. All valid points. But I would raise, I, I would put the question of fair taxation, or an end to unfair taxation at the heart of what I would think a convention of this debate. And I would think that the people calling for a convention, I challenge them to tell us what that system would look like when they were finished with the convention if they were to get their wish. That's the plea I make tonight. My turn? So, okay. Uh, actually, uh, and I gotta, I'm going to have to, I'm sure I'm going to have to keep correcting Richard as we go along in this process in the next couple of months. <laughs> I am not focused on political process. The first word I'm focused on is we the people. And, the, and, and I'm saying that the people need to decide what they want their government to look like or not look like. And also, in terms of the financial side, I totally agree that from the financial side, uh, it, it is critical because that sets the pathway for everything we do as a government. Government is supposed to be there. Uh, uh, to provide the basic fundamentals of infrastructure and, and uh, making sure that those that can't help themselves, are, we're there to help them, those people in need. Uh, government is not supposed to be the answer for everything, but certainly one of the, the primary foundations is revenues and what you're going to raise from the people's pocketbooks, regardless whose pocketbook it is, and then what are you going to do with it after you raise it? And, um, and whether it's property taxes, sales taxes, income taxes, business taxes, franchise taxes, all of that is about 
uh, the financial side. And I think absolutely that should be a priority uh, because quite frankly that's what people are really where they feel the pinch the most. There are people that care about environmental issues. There's no question about that. There are people that care about nonpartisan redistricting reform. There's no question about that. There's people that are concerned about um, uh, the political process. Uh, but in the end, uh, just like what's going on nationally and also to our state, is people are concerned about the pocketbook and what's in it and what's not in it. And I think fundamentally when you start talking about this, uh, the taxation side, how much, how much we tax, where does it go, who gets to decide how it gets spent, um, and uh, all of those are fair and fundamental questions and, and